Hey everybody, first off, I want to say thank you to Next News Network for being one of the first, one of the first probably, to cover this. I don't know if there's anybody else who's covered this, but if you're not subscribed to Next, Next, uh, Next News Network, please do. Um, I'm going to show you a clip here. For, oh, actually, I'm going to show you their video, and then I'm going to go over the information with you because I find something highly suspicious. And of course... If CBS picks up on this again, they will call us conspiracy theorists. Um, very interesting. Gary Franchi reporting for Next News Network. Just received a tip on Facebook uh, that the Jade Helm 15 drills have been covered on CBS News. Interestingly enough, they put it in the context of conspiracy theorists, and they actually featured Next News Network, among other independent alternative news sources. Let's take a look at that report from CBS News. And the Washington Post says a military exercise across seven states is fueling rumors about martial law. The training operation called Jade Helm 15 has been the subject of intense speculation since it was announced in March. Memo Bajorquez in Dallas shows us the growing hostility over this exercise. Memo, good morning. Good morning. Military officials say the operation is needed to keep special forces prepared for emerging threats from around the world. But there is enough paranoia here that Governor Greg Abbott has ordered the Texas State Guard to keep a close eye on the exercises. This is in preparation for the financial collapse and, and maybe even Obama not leaving office. I mean, I'm telling you, this is so huge. Online, there is no shortage of people who think Jade Helm 15 is masking something insidious. One thing is for sure, troops will be ready and trained to take over your town when it happens. They're preparing to initiate martial law and maybe even roundups. This is not um, a joke, it, it's, it's the real deal. The Army tells CBS News the operation has nothing to do with martial law, that many of the exercises will take place in remote areas, away from the public. But after this map of the training exercises surfaced, which identified Texas, Utah, and Southern California as hostile territory, the conspiracy theories took off. My friends, this is a declaration of war on United States soil. This is in our backyard. Even plumbing repairs at several Walmart stores drew suspicion. Walmart closing stores across the nation, most of them, if not all, are in the Jade Helm exercise facility. Jade Helm truly is just a training exercise to prepare Army Special Operations Forces for future operations overseas. That's all we want to do. The Army says misinformation is being spread by people with a personal agenda, but many in this overflow crowd remain skeptical. I'm a concerned citizen, and I believe that everybody should be concerned about this. On Tuesday, Governor Greg Abbott ordered the Texas State Guard to monitor military personnel movements and training exercise schedules and ensure that safety and constitutional rights of Texans were not being violated. That prompted this response from the White House. I have no idea what he's thinking. I might have an idea what he's thinking, but I'm not going to. The civil liberties <coughs> and constitutional rights uh, of American citizens will be in no way affected uh, by this exercise. Jade Helm will run eight weeks from July to September. The military says it is a routine training exercise, but its size and scope do set it apart from others. Officials also say it should not be disruptive to most citizens. Gail? Thank you, Manny. Well, as the temperature certainly gets turned up on Jade Helm 15, the more eyes on the story, the better. So we just want to thank everyone for... Uh, we're keeping this in your frontal lobe and reporting on it, reporting what you see, posting comments, sharing these videos, because now the national media, the White House, is paying attention. Keep up the great work. For the Next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi. Now let me go on one of my special little rants here, I guess you'd call it. Um, first of all, Here's what I find highly suspicious, and where they're going to call me a conspiracy theorist. Um, did you notice that when uh, the after the Sandy Hook event, and it started to really, really take off, 
you never seen the mainstream media covering a bunch of channels, directing people to uh, any of those channels so they could get some of the information possibly about Sandy Hook and really concerning the citizens of what we were finding? Of course they wouldn't. This right here was a kind of a, man, uh, uh, this could backfire on us, but we got to do something. And why do I say that? Well, they just broadcasted a bunch of uh, 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 personalities from our platform. Next News Network, Anita Fuentes, Lisa Haven, Alex Jones, myself even, and maybe even a couple more that I, I if I left out, I apologize. But now these people have seen the names. What if they come to YouTube and they get other information that we cover that the government did not want the uh, 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 people out there in the mainstream to know about well not the mainstream media but I mean the you know the sheep this is one of these last ditch efforts if you ask me because there is no way that they would want the sheep to be knowing where to go find some of this information in case they did not know and I know you're thinking that well how could people not know well there's people who you know that they they don't want any complications in their lives or maybe it's perhaps that they didn't even know that there were people even talking about this now they want to go find out more about what's going on or uh, find out what the heck we have to say it's a possibility so that's what uh, uh, it, it really intrigues me that with Sandy Hook and some of the other events that we have covered a, a, ex, extenuously we have covered a lot of different subjects on this platform that the mainstream media would never in their lifetime cover where people would come and possibly find out what we have to say. Notice in this piece, this hit piece by CBS, we're conspiracy theorists, okay? CBS goes on to state that they are being, uh, the, the reports that are coming to them is that uh, Operation Jade Helm 15 is mostly going to be taking place in remote areas away from the public, right? Excuse me. That seems to contradict everything, not only that what we've been told, but what the documents and Mr. Meade himself stated is that they want to train these, or, or they want to, this exercise is about special forces being able to, uh, 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 get into the public, simulate, whatever the word you want to call it, they want them to train to do that in a public setting. Um, ex excuse me. What separates the, the, the training troops and the actors away from the public? Right, the armbands. Didn't they say that they're going to be wearing armbands to distinguish the actors and the uh, the, the exercise participants uh, uh, from the public. So how does that compute with this story? You can't have it both ways. Somebody is lying. So I say, if you are going to do this exercise in um, uh, Texas, and you're saying it's in remote areas away from the public, then you should be able to do these exercises in your own mount facilities on your own military bases if you're going to spend millions and millions of dollars on creating a fake american town with the church with the subway with the uh, railroad tracks with all those items then you should have been able to create something like that in a remote area and put a few actors and pretend uh, 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 simulating into the the small little public there, since you're going to be training mostly in remote areas. See, that's why I say we're being lied to. If the mainstream media can't even get the story right, this story is going to backfire on them. I hope that there are some sheep out there who saw this CBS story and may have come our direction so they can actually get some truth rather than some BS from the mainstream media. And understand this. The mainstream media is not going to cover something like this unless they're given the green light. And the only reason why they would be given the green light in this instance is because the, uh, because the powers that be and the government are trying to assuage people's fears. 
there are people that are fearing out there, and this is one of their, what you would call a last ditch effort to do so. That's my opinion. And does that make me a conspiracy theorist? No, I'm just analyzing it how I see it. And, you know, maybe you see it a different way. Share with me. Let me know. And if you're not subbed to the Next News Network, please, please do so. Thanks.